Welcome to day eight of the 25 apps in 25 days series, the series where I showcase a brand new app every single day for 25 days in a row. If you missed any of the previous episodes, I've linked a playlist down below where you can catch up. But for today's episode, we've got yet another free and open source app, but this one makes typing on your Android phone a much better experience. As always, just a reminder that this video and this series does not have any sponsors, but it is supported by those of you who download and use any of my apps, as well as those who purchase any of the digital products I sell on my website, all of which will be linked below. And I do wanna quickly highlight the companion app to this series, my app Shelf, which is a library of hand-picked app recommendations from yours truly. We literally add brand new app recommendations every single day, so it's definitely worth checking out. But with that being said, let's check out Day 8's application. All right, so the app we're talking about today is called CoReply. And in short, it's essentially the same as that feature within Gmail where it gives you smart suggestions as you type. But instead of just working within Gmail, CoReply can work across way more apps. Now, similar to the previous open source apps I've featured, CoReply is not available to download via the Google Play Store, so you will need to download it via the app's GitHub page. And on top of that, I highly recommend installing it after you've already installed and set up the Installer X Revived app, which I featured a couple of days ago on day six, because otherwise there will be a bunch of hoops that you gotta jump through to get the app set up. So if you need a refresher, go back and watch that video before you install the CoReply app. But once it's installed via the Installer X Revived app, we can now open up CoReply, then tap to enable this toggle, then tap I accept, then find CoReply, tap to open it, then toggle it on and tap allow. Then I'll swipe back until I've reopened CoReply. Now we've just got to set up our API configuration. Now you can set up an API using CoReply's cloud service, but the free version limits you to 100 requests total, or you can get 100 free requests per week if you join their Telegram or Discord. So there's that option too. But since you're using an Android phone, you might actually prefer to use Gemini instead. To do this, we'll tap on custom API. And from there, I've placed two links down in the description. The first of which you need to copy and paste into this base URL field. And once that's done, you then need to actually open the second link, which will redirect you to your Google AI Studio account and to the API keys page. And you just need to open that, then tap on create API key, give it a name like CoReply, for example. Then once you've added the name, you tap this drop down menu and select create a new project, which you can also name CoReply. Then you can tap on create project, wait for it to complete. And once it's done, you can then tap on create key. With that now created, you can then swipe across here and tap the copy icon like so. Then back in the CoReply app, we'll just paste that into this API key section. The last thing you need to do is add the model name here, which I'm gonna use Gemini-2.0-Flash, but I've pasted all the available options in the description for easy access. But once done, that's it. We'll leave this system prompt as is. And from there, we can open any messaging app that we like. So let's do WhatsApp, for example. And even without typing anything, it'll already suggest a prompt. And you can either tap once to accept the next suggested word, or you can also long press to accept the entire suggestion. And for most apps, because CoReply is using Gemini, it should actually understand the context of the conversation you're having. And so as such, the suggestions should actually make sense with what you've already been talking about. You can see the list of supported apps on the app's GitHub page, and they're adding more apps to this list all the time. So keep an eye out on that if there's an app that you're waiting to be added. But I gotta say, I was really, really impressed with how well it works and with how seamlessly it integrates into the UI too. It even works within notification replies as well, which I thought was extra impressive. And the good news is that no data is collected or sent to the developers, which means despite the hoops that we've had to go through to get the app set up, it is completely safe and secure to run on your device. But there you have it, yet another really cool free and open source app that I think seriously levels up the typing experience on your phone. As always, don't forget to check out my app shelf for even more great app recommendations. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next episode. But aside from that, that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.